This is Anthony Olympia with Six String Country, and these lessons we're going to be working on the classic song Dixieland Delight, recorded by Alabama. Ronnie Rogers wrote the song uh, way back in 1902. No, I don't know what year it was, but uh, this is like one of those country classics that everybody knows. If you're in a cover band, you've covered it, or you're going to cover it. Um, and if not, you've heard it, and you want to. If you're a guitar player, you definitely want to know how to play it. The iconic solos are so much stuff in this song that it's just so good to know if you're wanting to learn country guitar or just guitar in general. Um, diving into some information real quick, uh, the acoustic part will have like some easy strum stuff, but we do kind of cover like as close to as I could possibly figure out the uh, recorded acoustic part. So um, I'll kind of give you the option, the simple option, and also like the as close, like I said, the real recorded uh, acoustic part. So you'll need to bring out the tabs for that stuff. And then um, we do have one other thing. Um, in the first guitar solo that happens in the turnaround, like right after the first chorus, um, there's like a quick guitar mini that happens. I think it's like five notes or something silly like that. But it's the only part that there's a guitar mini. Well, by that I mean like two guitars in harmony, guitar mini. Um, so I'm not, it's, I'm not gonna have that in the jam along video. You'll hear it, but you won't see me playing it. Um, but in the lead lesson, uh, we will cover that guitar mini. And I guess like for the solo videos, we'll be playing the fiddle solos, uh, which was interesting to try to transcribe on electric guitar. And it'll be interesting for you to learn. I'll show you some ideas to like maybe take it in a more guitar, direct, a guitar, uh, idiomatic, whatever direction that works on guitar, but I'm uh, in the tabs and in the jam along, it'll be as close to what the fiddle was playing. So you kind of get a little bit of, you know, both there. But yeah, we got a lot to work on, so let's get started. Tail buck deer munching on clover, red tail hawk sitting on a limb, chubby old groundhog croaking bullfrog, free as a feeling in the wind, homegrown country girl gonna give me a whirl on a Tennessee Saturday night. Lucky as a seven, living in heaven, with my Dixieland Delight. This is the rhythm lesson for Dixieland Delight. We're going to be using a capo eventually, so you're going to want to have one of those out and ready to go. Um, also, I mentioned this in the intro if you watched that, we're going to have kind of an easy strum version, or th that eventually comes into the song. So like, if you're not wanting to worry about the tabs, which we're gonna dig into here in just a little bit, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and kind of fast forward to the chorus after I talk about the chords. So what we'll do first is we'll tackle the chords we're using and then we'll dive into the tabs. So hang around for the chords and then uh, if you're just wanting to strum, uh, go ahead and fast forward to the chorus. Start on the low E string, that's the bass note, and then I'm just gonna hit the high strings, G, B, and E, right? Down strum, so it'll be and then I hit the open D string, that's the next bass note. Back to high strings, low E, high strings. And now the second fret of the A is the next bass note. And then I'm gonna kinda do like up, down. So it goes. Um, and I'm, when I'm doing that up strum, I'm kinda mainly grabbing like the middle string, so it'd be like an upstroke on the open D and G and then another downstroke on just the high strings, G, B, E. You know? Uh, maybe take a second to practice that. Let's just uh, do that slowly. So just the first measure there. Here we go. Three, four. Right? 
Hopefully that makes sense. That's pretty much the main idea for how this, uh, this part's gonna work. So go to the second measure, same idea, bass, high strings, bass, high strings, and at the very end of the measure, you know, bass up, down. Uh, so we're on a D chord now. They're gonna do the open D string as the first bass note. So bass, high strings, open A now for the next bass note. High strings, back to the open D. High strings, D again, just the D string open, and it'll be the up, down after that. Okay, the next one we're gonna do a quick hammer on. It's, uh, I love that they kind of changed up, just a little extra interest. So now that we've covered everything, hopefully that all makes sense. If you need to, you know, use the, the thing where you can slow it down in the mixer, uh, use every tool you can. The strumming patterns are gonna help you a ton if you can just sit and, you know, work up the speed to get to where it, it does uh, get faster halfway through the song. You know, make sure you got all that stuff prepared. When you're playing with this band, it, can, it just flies by. You really gotta be on your toes. Um, all right, so hopefully we got all this figured out. Um, I do want to do all of this with the metronome, but I want to note a couple things. We're going to go back to the original tempo. We're going to take the capo off, so no capo anymore. Um, we're also going to start like we did with the tabs. So we're going to play two tempo, the intro through the end of the first verse. If you're just wanting to cover the easy strum stuff, flip ahead to the first chorus and use the second verse to play the first and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start it. <clears throat> 92 beats per minute, starting at the intro. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. Cool, moving along to the first verse. One, Two. This is the lead lesson for Dixieland Delight. We're going to be playing a lot of notes, so uh, buckle up and hold on tight. <laughs> um, it starts off super, super simple, but eventually as we go on, like we're going to be covering what the, uh, the fiddle does. We're, I transcribed that part for you uh, as we would in any other uh, six-string country lesson where the fiddle is kind of like the main lead dude. So I did my best to make that part work. Um, we'll put those fiddle solos in solo videos as well as the... Uh, the guitar solo that happens after the first chorus. And a quick note there too, um, I, there's a guitar harmony that happens in that guitar solo. Uh, it's just like the last few notes of that. Um, I'll show you that part after we teach that in that video. Um, so if you want to work on all that stuff, flip over to those videos. If you're wanting to learn like the choruses, the verses, the, you know, the, the regular lead part, um, you are in the right place. First chorus. Um, making that D chord shape that I'm sure you've made a thousand times. We're gonna start with the open D string, and then I'm doing an upstroke here, grabbing the second fret of the G, third of the B, second fret of the high E, and then I do, uh, I'm doing like open D, second fret of the G, like a downstroke, and then I do the second fret of the G, third fret of the B together, and then back to the open D, and then that chord shape, the second fret of the G, third fret of the B, second fret of the high E. So, same kind of idea now over like an E minor chord shape. So it'll be open low E, and then second fret of the D, and then second fret of the A, back to the D, then open E, and then I'm doing second fret of the D, open G together. So, and then we're doing a C chord shape, start on the A string third fret, and then Second fret of the D, open G, first fret of the B. And then a down strum, I'm doing uh, the second fret of the D, open G. And then up strum on open G, first fret of the B. Back to the third fret of the, of the A. And then second fret of the D, open G, first fret of the B. So. And then a G chord shape. So we have this ready to go. It'll be third fret of the low E, and then open D, G, and B, and then upstroke, and then a down on open D and G, and then open G and B, upstroke. Third fret of the low E is next, and then open D, G, and B. So, okay. Moving on, uh, we get to the uh, D chord thing again, just like the first measure of the chorus. 
an E minor thing, just like the second measure. And just like the third measure. And then we're gonna do a C minor. Thing. Alrighty, so now that we got all this stuff, let's play the solo, the main part to the metronome, and then lastly we'll grab that harmony part. Okay, so remember there's a pickup, so we come in before the downbeat. So I'll count and we'll come in. One, two, three. 